Hi, this is Kerry with Learn DaVinci Resolve, and today we're going to take a look at a feature in Fusion called Time Speed. And what we're going to do with this is be able to delay the start of a clip. And this has been brought up in forums, on Facebook, and uh, never really saw a simple answer to it. And the solution is actually very, very simple. So this is what we're going to create today. So just this little simple animation with some flames coming out of it, but we need to change the start time of each one of those flames in order to make it look right. So let's dig in and see how we did it as soon as we get right back. So I've got my footage here and we have just this little uh, old, uh, definitely not a working mine here. So we're going to figure out how to add those flames to it. So I'm going to go into fusion. Now I am using DaVinci Resolve 16 beta one for this. This will work exactly the same way in 15, but I am using 16 because on my machine it is much faster. So there's definitely that. So I have a couple of these different explosions here and I'll just bring this guy in place and a couple things I'm going to do to this. I'm going to add a transform node and a time speed node. And basically once we have this working, uh, we'll be able to uh, make this all work really smooth. So we're going to go from our media. We're going to use the transform to position it and time speed to set our delays. But first I want to get some tracking on this and get, you know, so that way the stuff moves with it and it kind of stays in sync. So I'm going to go to my media in, hit shift space, bring up a tracker, and I'm going to set a tracker on um, this little doorway right here. That should work pretty nice. Don't need much of an area. I know it's not going to move much. And that's probably all I'm going to need. So let's give this a try and see how it works. So I'm at the beginning of my clip. I'll track forward. And this shouldn't take too long. Again, things on 16 often are much faster than they were on 15, especially when you're in fusion. So hopefully this will move right along and it's going pretty quick here. Should only take, uh, what's it going to take? Uh, about less than a minute, it looks like. And hopefully, as long as that track holds good, this thing should work fairly well. And at least it'll give us some good positioning. And that's really what we're looking for, so that as this drone shot moves, we're able to keep track of it. All right, so I'll go back to the beginning here. And now I have the, my media in, transform, and speed. So I'm going to move my tracker kind of over to the end because that's where it's going to be. And at this media in, I'm going to add a merge node. And that way I can add this first little set of flames here. So if I'm at the beginning, we'll play this. So why didn't it do anything? And I've seen this a lot. It's like, I'm doing it, but nothing's happening. Look at what frame I'm on. So this clip is starting at frame 1091, but my delay is set at zero in the time speed. So I'm going to go ahead and move my playhead to 1095. So I'm going to set my delay to 1095. Now let's see what happens. Oh, we have our little flame effect, but it's definitely not in the right position. So I'm just going to, uh, there we go. Where does it start? Okay, that's why I have the transform node. Now I can move this guy into position where I want it. And now let's try that again. Boom. So cool. Okay. Give it a second. So it looks like my next spot is going to be at 1160. So I'm going to take this, copy it, 
paste it in here, go to my time speed, set that to 1160. Over here, I'm going to create another merge node. Connect that. And let's see. So this is probably going to be close to the next one, maybe around 1225. Good. So I think I'll go with that. Copy this stuff, paste it again, go to my time speed, select 1225. Come back down to my main flow here, add another merge node, and I'll connect that. Now at this point, things are probably not going to run very smooth on my machine. Well, it might. Let's see how it goes. There's the first one. There's the second one. It's a little off though, and that's okay. I didn't expect it to be perfect the first time around. So I'm going to select my transform and I'm just going to shift that point there. Now it should hold position good and we'll find the next one. There we go. Let me back that up a few frames, select that transform, just kind of move it over a little bit and now we should be good to go. Now I'm going to go onto my edit page and you can see it's going to need to render this, which is fine. Give me a good playback speed, which will be cool. So this shouldn't take too long again with beta 16 or with 16 beta one, the stuff in fusion is much better. So I'm doing a lot of the fusion things that I would normally do in fusion. I mean, in 16 beta one, because of the speed improvement, I'm very, very happy with that. And also, uh, one thing to note, let's go ahead and check our preferences here. And I'm going to go to my media and GPU and I'll make sure that I have my fusion memory cache, uh, set to a reasonable level. Now this machine has 32 gigs of Ram, so I can set my resolve memory to 75% of that, which would be 24. And I could set my fusion memory cache to 75% of that 24, which would be 18, but I would have to uh, restart my computer for that. So I'm just going to cancel that, but it's all rendered. Let's take a quick look. Pretty darn cool. So I'm going to go and render this guy and I'm going to set my endpoint and my out point here and I'll call it mine. I'll go ahead and add that to my render queue, start my render and this shouldn't take very long at all mostly because I have, let me show you the setting here, use render cached images turned on. So that's going to help my rendering out quite a bit. And I'll go ahead and go to my desktop and I'll find the mine footage here and we'll play that. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? And so using that time speed, you can set that delay. And remember, you have to set it to the frame that you're working on as the starting frame of the delay. And that will give you the, the starting point. So if, like you saw here, even though I was kind of at the beginning of that clip, my starting frame was in the 1000 range. So I had to make sure that I gave that the proper delay from that point to be able to start. And then I offset the rest of them moving forward. Now I probably could have done something cool with expressions and on the second and third one said, use the starting point of the first one plus X number of frames using expressions, which would have definitely made it um, more consistent instead of just kind of throwing it up there the way I did. But I really wanted to show you how to do that delay with time speed to offset those clips because a lot of times you need to do that and uh, 
I see a lot of people struggling with trying to figure that out. So hopefully this helps you with your fusion techniques. This has been Kerry with the Learn DaVinci Resolve channel. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified whenever I put out a new video. If you like it, share it. Give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. That's all right. But please tell me what you didn't like so I can improve the videos in the future. Definitely appreciate that. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.